Hello everyone, welcome back to Gidroy Tips. In this video, I am going to talk about how to fix Farming Simulator 25. Error could not initiate. 3D settings or shaded model 6.0 is required. This error is happening. See if that is the case. Just follow the instruction. First, you need to close the game. And once the game is closed, just go over here into the file explorer. Navigate to documents. Now from here, you have to find whether the folder is there for farming simulator 25 if you don't have the folder just get into my games and now get into farming simulator 2025 now from here you can see there is a game option over here which is around if uh, notepad like this right click this one go to the open with and open this one with the notepad and right now when you open it with the road notepad you can see if you check over here you can see there is render d3d d3d d 3 d underscore 12 so first what you need to do is you need to change this 12 to 11 and you need to go over here and save this and you can try to launch the game. If afterwards, if it's still it's not working, after changing from D3D 12 to 11, if it's not working, you have to make one more changes. That is just go over here, right click once again, go to open with, go to the notepad. And now you need to make the change from D3D, if it is 11, you have to change this to 10. And now you need to close this and you have to try launch the game. Still, if it's not working, you have to move to the next step. Next step is all about just go over here, right click, properties, go over here and you have to give the command that is DX11. DX11 is the first command. Try giving DX11. If DX11 is not working, you can try giving DX12. If DX12 is not working, try with giving DX10. So if anyone, including the DX11 or DX12 or DX10, any one of the things will be working in most cases. And if it's not working, just remove everything, keep it nil. And once afterwards, just close this and we have to go back. The next one, we need to update the graphics card. So I'll be providing a link in the description that will take you to this. Select the product type, product series, product operating system, everything should be selected. And we'll be getting the driver version 566.14, which is the uh, over here and get into the download and go for download now. And right now, as you can see, you can download this one. So that is around 772.84 MB. So download this one and install restart. And that is what you have to do. If you're on the AMD, just go to the AMD and you can find the respective details from there. If you're on the NVIDIA, just follow this instruction. And these can be helpful guide for you guys. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye.